unexpected. You found the tape that I've kept all this time. I'm surprised. If you're listening to this, well, you want to know. You want to know how this started before the incidents, before the attack, before the murders. It all started. How long has it been? Ten years ago? She was the love of my life. It's hard to remember everything, but if I could remember her name, it was Addison. She was everything to me. I couldn't let her go. I couldn't. Until that day happened. There was a car crash. It all happened so fast. I just stood there, watched it happen. I couldn't do anything but watch. With her gone, I have nothing, nothing to live for. But there's something I wanted that could be another thing. Bring a dead back to life. That's the only option. So how am I supposed to do it before I bring her back? Well, I had to experiment on children, and, and where should I do that? Well, there's this restaurant that I just plan on making. It's a place for me to capture every child I find and to experiment on. Put them in these animatronics to test out anything to bring them back to life. And somehow, it works. Because I managed to create a deal which is somehow surprising to everyone who's listening. I made a deal with the devil. It's kind of obvious if you believe they are real or not, that you just hear them or see them or somehow meet them. It's odd, it's obvious that God is real. <sighs> Anyways, I made a deal with the devil, so how to bring the dead back to life? When? Those children are dead and their souls are trapped in those animatronics and they begin to feel rage inside. That's the only thing they felt when they came back. But none of them is somehow the most dangerous thing I couldn't keep in the cage. She was the dangerous one. After I'd bring her back to life, she was somehow about to attack me. But I disassembled her for punishing her. I put her back in the cage and wait for the right time until more issues going on with the disappearances, newspapers spreading, and I've been talking with the police. That I told them there was some person to break in inside and wait for the right time to kidnap the children. I wasn't there, all right? I just lied to them because I don't want to ruin the deal, because I want her back. If it failed, I won't see her again. Of course, why not just kill myself? Just go up to heaven and see her. But how is heaven real? Or hell? I don't know. I don't know why I want to kill. It's not like I'm like those people out there who just are going crazy of killing. It's just a deal. I just want her back. I don't know if I feel sorry for those children. They're out there, somewhere, hiding in plain sight. I'll find them. I will find them. And whoever is listening to this, you better understand. If you're listening, I'm watching you. You better be careful and start running. <laughs>